Good morning everyone. My name is Catherine Landreva and today I'm going to share with you our UK team news. And the most interesting question for most of audience is how Roman style pizza working in the UK. A bit of story for the beginning. In July 2020, Dodo UK decided to launch fast gourmet concept with a different product with a Roman style dough with a better quality ingredients, gourmet recipes with a twist, and lighter and healthier product. And what is really important for competitive markets with a 20 minutes delivery speed, which could become our advantage. When we announced our decision on our LinkedIn page, not all experts agreed with our decision. Some of them started to saying that it won't fly. Some of them, Jesus Christ, what are you doing, guys? You're crazy to launch frozen door in the UK. Some of them started to saying that it's total madness, in my opinion. But we had experience with the Roman style door in China and we knew that it's high quality product. We knew the trends on the market and also we had experience in the UK. So we were truly believe in our new concept. It took for us almost five months from idea to real sales, to prepare the layouts for the store, to develop the dough recipe, to develop the recipe, the recipe of each pizza, to finish the construction works, and to develop the new brand platform. So, on the screen you can see our first results, that the first three days sales after the official launch, and it was a strong start for us. You can see numbers on the screen. And after these days, sales are increasing gradually, month by month. And we're doing our best for it. But what could be more important than sales level? Because sales can show you what do you have at the moment, but just customer feedback can show you the future. Just customer feedback can show you, will these customers come back to you to pay again for your pizza? To get this feedback before the official launch, we had five days of the soft launch before the official opening. To get the feedback from real customers. What does that mean, soft launch? So that's five days uh, when you're trading, you open, but there are no loudly advertising everywhere. And some people were coming in, buying their pizza, but there were nothing literally. And we found out lost in the space. No particular feedback. Do people like our product or not? During five days, it was a little bit nervous for the team, being honest with you. But the official day came, the official opening day came, and we started trading officially with advertising. And till the late evening, we had still nothing. It was pretty busy in the store, lots of orders, but no feedback. We were monitoring our social media, our Google Maps page, but still nothing. At it was 5 p.m. and the first review dropped to our Facebook page. My son loved it. We were happy like a child because that was the feedback. It's like to feel the earth under your feet. Then, like in a 10 minutes, we got the second review that Jake Adam recommends Dodo Pizza Leamington Spa. And then different reviews started to coming to us. Some of them were positive, some of them were negative. But it was reviews and it's something with which you can work with. With the team, we agreed that share of positive reviews will become our main metric, as important as sales level. How to calculate this share of positive reviews? So you need to count each positive review which you got and divide it on all reviews you can find in your social media, Google Maps pages and etc. And you'll get the share of positive reviews. And we agreed with the team that this metric should be higher than 95%. Here on the screen you can see our real chart uh, with the share of positive reviews month over month. In January, we started from 76%. And each month we're doing something to improve the customer experience and doing different tests here. Some of steps helps us, some of them not. 
but anyway, we keep going and asking ourselves how to make customers happier. Every day we ask ourselves this question. The, basically, there are two sources of data and the first one and the most important one is customers' feedback. On the screen you can see the example of the uh, report with feedback from social media, emails, maps, each sources. And each appeal divided between um, the area, like feedback on the product, operational problems, problems or something else. And this report helps to the team work on it and improve the customer experience. There is also another source of data, the research machine. Because if you will ask customer what would he prefer, he probably will answer, I just want a, a better or faster horse. But we want to provide to our customers really Porsche car. So we launched our own research machine. We're doing their quality and quantity of researches. We're getting insights from there and we're doing our changes based on the customer's feedback and on the research machine. The research machine works pretty simple. You're doing analytics, in getting insights, creating hypotheses, and then tests and implementation. Here you can see on the screen our hypothesis dashboard. Why do we need it? Because when you work in a startup, it's very hard to discipline yourself. You just want to test everything at the same time. But if you're doing hundreds of tests at the same time, probably you won't understand what really helped you to improve the customer experience. So this dashboard helps us to discipline ourselves. Here you can see the hypothesis, the owner of hypothesis, date of launch, mid-check, and the final conclusion, of course. So using these two sources of data, customer feedback and our search machine results, we're doing our changes. So based on this data, we did our menu improvements. We launched create your own pizza so each customer in Leamington Spa can create his own pizza as he wish. We launched new sites because honestly we got some negative feedback on our potato snacks so we decided to replace them and we also introduced our meat snacks according to our quantitative reviews. We launched Beer Insider because we got from our researchers that people really want to have this kind of drinks in addition to their pizza. We set up the consistency. That's really important when you're launching the new concept because you're doing it from scratch and you need to be sure that the product is consistent every day, every week, every time. And we improved our top five pizzas. Usually they bringing you the biggest share of revenue, quite big share of revenue. And also these top five pizzas, they are usually the first touch with your new customers. And they have to be absolutely perfect. And very soon in our menu, our customers in Leamington can see, could see the salads, wine. So if you fancy to have a glass of Prosecco in addition to lobster and mango pizza, you can order it desserts and very soon we will launch half and half pizza. Moving to operations, we have very strong team on board in the store. And if we're talking about some results of the team, I would share with you just one number. That's the average delivery speed and it's 20 minutes. Just imagine you place the order and in a 20 minutes you get your delicious pizza next to your door. That's really great for my opinion. Talking about the new customers, we started in January from 941 for month and then we dropped a little bit, but we're doing our experiments, we're launching new tools and we're changing our strategy also according to new conditions and restrictions with the COVID situation. And at the moment for us, it's really important to have strong and consistent online presence, strong and consistent offline presence, and we're pretty good on both sides. And we also decided to achieve the leadership in local influencers community in Leamington. Maybe the most important chart for us is chart with repeated customers. We started in January from 166 and then this number is just growing and growing, which basically means for us that we proved the product, that people in the UK are ready to come back to buy 
Roman style pizza again, they trust us. So we proved the product. What's next? Our next steps, fine tuning the economic model. We believe in the model at the moment, so we are ready to launch the second corporate store in Cheltenham, target to open in September 2021. We also consider the dough production center and we need to strengthen the team because our growth pipeline is quite ambitious. Last year we launched new concept in Leamington Spa. This year we're targeting to launch two or three corporate stores. And next year we set up for us ambitious goal to launch 20 stores in 2023. On the screen you can see the towns where we want to open our stores. So if you're living somewhere there and you want to have Dodo Pizza next door and there is some available property next door to you, just give us a shout. A few words about franchising. We already got almost 100 applications. What are these people looking for? They really want to have different product. Also, the speed is very important on the market and that the specific of the UK market that the availability is not really good at the moment if we're talking about the pizza franchising. So Dodo can provide here national opportunity for growth for young entrepreneurs. And of course, our strong IT system. If you want to become our franchisee, please contact Head of Business Development in the UK, David Sweeney. That's it for today. Any questions you have, please leave in a comment below this video. And do more of what you love. Thank you for your time. See you soon. And I'm passing to my colleagues from the IT team. Bye-bye.